I love wet paint. <laughs> Actually, it's nice to be able to get out with uh, people that paint for uh, something that benefits the uh, art community. But uh, Dick was the guy that sort of, I don't know whether he saw this someplace else, but if he did or if he came up on it on, a, on his own, he's a genius. Now, there are other wet paints in other communities, but this one is very, very uh, well uh, recognized already. We're on about our 16th year, we think. I'm not, it's all very exciting. We love this event. Many artists will come in today. We'll probably expect over 100 artists today to show up. Actually, I need Dick Rovner out here right now. Here we go. Here, here I am, John. I painted this thing 10 times today. That's uh, not good. I'm leaving it. Well, wet paint was an idea that seemed to come from Boston originally. They had a fresh paint plan up there, but ours is a little different. We tried to include everybody that wanted to come into it, and it was really a uh, way of getting the artists in the community to be conscious of the art museum, do something for them. They can, what they can do best, of course, was paint. And then, uh, luckily, we had a wonderful auctioneer, and we still have him, Mike Corcoran, who was full of fun, and somehow he sells everything, everything that's on, on display. And so the art museum was able to make a great deal of money. That even the first time when they planned that we would have a line item of $2,000 for it, they thought maybe we have it one year and maybe not do it anymore. Well, they made $20,000 the first year. Well, it suddenly became important. And so uh, we've had a wonderful time ever since. And I think the artists really feel part of this community and the art museum. Okay, here's the deal. The hardest thing to do for most painters is to uh, get a little brush out and sign their painting. But because it's wet paint, the new game in town is to uh, reach into your bag of tricks and to pull out the old golf tee <laughs> and find the fresh corner. And in this situation, I'll just go traditional lower right and scribble in your name. And it just takes all the pain out of doing that. Look at that. It, wet paints is a great event. It's very fun. There's a lot of people out. We, we, we tend to have our own little wet paints throughout the summer. We go out a lot as a group probably about six or seven or eight of us maybe. and um, So this isn't all that different of a day for us, but uh, it's still fun to see it as an event and a lot of people coming out for it. it was, we have to, you have to try to retain the, what it was 20 minutes, half an hour ago because you can't keep chasing the color because the color, the color is always changing. <laughs> What's your name? Mary Brewster. Uh, well, are you going to paint or what? I'm absolutely going to paint. I'm oh. out at the point. It's a quick impression. <laughs> is this your first wet paint? Yes, it is. Oh, good. Uh, um, I've been out of town other years and heard about it and seen a lot of people having fun with it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, let's go see what she's doing. I've been doing this, well, I missed last year because I had a wedding, but I've probably been doing it for six or seven years, I think. Get things blocked in while the, before the light changes, that's mm -hmm. all. Uh, what, six years? Wow, good yeah. for you. Good. Yeah. It's a worthwhile event, huh? Absolutely. Raises a little money? Raises a little money, raises awareness of painting in Newport. Fabulous. Oh, did you go to the grocery shop? Right here? Yes. And the title? 6 a.m. first speech. Okay, title. Wet paint 08. Okay, first painting of the day, wet painting 08. I'm actually working on the title right now. Any, uh, any ideas? Um, and then here's the first painting of the day, which you saw me. Oh, beautiful. And this is uh, in the Let parking lot at the Chandler Hotel at the start of the cliff walk. There's going to be hundreds of paintings here this evening, we hope. And this young lady beside me, tell me your name. Tara Elliott. And what are you going to be doing? Um, I will be doing a lot of things. <laughs> Overseeing all the volunteers because we'll be hanging um, as the work comes in. We 
uh, enter it into the computer, and then we hang it on the wall as fast as we can. So it's going to be a lot of energy and a lot of fun. She has a couple. We've got a couple more in the hall. Ready Good. to go. More coming? A few more, yeah. Yeah? Didn't I catch you bidding on another one a few minutes ago? <laughs> the color, the sky, it's so vibrant, it's so uplifting. And it's It's had a lot of activity on the sheet. It's a beautiful little painting. This is a charming knife, a palette knife painting. This is very pretty. And it uh, looks like an 810, item number 106. Thank you. 700, I've got it. 800, Pat. $900, I've got it. 1,000, Pat. $1,100, $1,100, $1,100. $1,100, if it is $1,000, $1,100, I you all done? At 1,000? So, 1,000. Mrs. Hamilton, I have a captive buyer. Will you give a thousand for Five hundred dollars. I have five hundred dollars now. Six hundred dollars. The bid is five hundred dollars now. Six hundred. Six hundred for a John McGowan. Five hundred fifty now. Six hundred now. Six and a half. Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Six hundred and fifty dollars one time. Six hundred fifty is the bid, and you got it for six hundred and fifty dollars. Way up. Twenty-five. Could be anywhere in Cliff Walk. Just say it's in front of your house. Two hundred twenty-five dollars. Two hundred twenty-five. Now two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty. I have it. Five hundred fifty dollars. So five hundred dollars. Mike Price taught the two-day seminar for wet paint uh, that the artists attended, and this should start at uh, four hundred twenty-five dollars. Wow. Surfers. Now are these surfers down here. Oh, they're rocks. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> So, $2,000. Okay, is it good? Okay, Carnegie Abbey. All right. What do we bid for? Five and a half of these. So, Marilyn, for $500. Marilyn Bob. $300. 300, three and a half. Jackie, 400, four and a half. 500, Jackie, five and a half. $550 bid is 500. 500 for Mrs. Egan. $550. Now, $600, $650. Yeah. $650, Jackie. Jackie, no collusion at an auction. <laughs> trying to, tr you're either trying to hit on Vareka or colliding with I don't know what the deal was. Are you trying to hit on Bill Vareka? <laughs> oh. oh, Bill, how you doing? <laughs> The all will be in court. Ready? Six hundred, six hundred fifty dollars. Seven hundred bill. Seven and a half, Jackie. The bid is seven hundred dollars. So, Bill Vareka for seven hundred dollars. Beautiful paintings here. This is only five hundred dollars now. Five. Your bid is five hundred now. Five hundred fifty dollars. So, Marilyn Bodice gets it. Five hundred dollars. And there it is. This is a little rock off there. The ferry comes right down there. What are you going to get $500 for? This is a good painting. $500 now, $550. Right here, $550 anywhere. Now, this is a good one. $550 anywhere. Any Middletown people here? $550 one time. How about $450? $450? $450? $450?